Hey guys, gals, and legionnaires, Rykon here, and welcome back to Shade Hill Penitentiary. This is Let's Play Cataclysm Dark Days Ahead, Episode 2. Elliot's Tale. And what a tale it's been so far. We have managed to kill a zombie and avoid a number of brutes. We do have a hard day ahead of us, unfortunately. This is still the first day. Um, we can't actually tell what time of day it is because we are underground currently. Yeah, this is not going to be an easy task escaping this prison. If it was, well, prisoners would escape all the time. Well, I've delayed long enough. It's time to see what's behind door number one. I'm seriously worried that there's going to be a goddamn brute there. Actually, what we need to do, first of all, is just wait. And is that above us or below us? Okay, above is okay. That was quite close to us. Oh! Okay. <laughs> Those are zombie cops, which are worse than zombies, but not as bad as zombie brutes. So I'm okay seeing those there. So it is a human body covered by a weather beaten and badly damaged set of riot gear. So they don't exactly look how they do here. These are police officers in riot gear. So zombies in riot gear makes them a lot more well, defensive against bash attacks, which is what we're doing currently with our 2x4. We literally just have a block of wood that we're using to smash in these zombie skulls. <laughs> um, so safe mode is activated. We are going to now jump up the stairs. Because again, luckily, these things are pretty thick. They won't know to join us up here. Now, up here we've got a number of different books. There's actually a zombie survival guide, which, funnily enough, it's not helpful at all. It's just something that you can read for fun in this. Um, actually, hey, look, there's To Serve Man here as well. So this must have been where um, Elliot first stole that book from. And we've got a few other books as well. Nothing too interesting. We do have another barred door and a, another wood door. This one here should lead us into somewhere that could help us out a great deal. So we're going to smash this door. We're going to leave those zombie cops down there for now. We will go back and kill them. But we're going to have to do a lot of jumping up and down the stairs to be able to do it. Just a little bit of smart playment uh, on Elliot's behalf. Okay, so we've got a zombie in there as well. So now what we're going to do is we are going to just move back because our stamina is a little low, which is concerning. We don't have a lot of room to fight him here, which is a little unfortunate. Okay, we've got two hits in. We're now going to back up. He tried to grab us. We're probably going to take some damage here. Okay, we dodged the zombie. That's good. Okay. Actually, wow. We raised our strength. Great. Because um, we increased our skill in bashing. And I like that it actually does it automatically now. Used to be with stats through skills, you'd have to wait until you sleep at night and then it would recalculate, but it seems to do it whenever you actually gain a skill, you, well, you get stronger. So it makes sense. We got better at using bashing weapons because we we're using our muscles and it made us stronger because of it. We are, however, getting quite low on stamina. That will be in part because of this bandana. If we have a look, actually our mouth isn't encumbered at all. What am I talking about? Ignore me. Ignore me. This zombie is moderately injured, but it can still do damage to us. We're going to move up. We are now well and truly cornered, and we're actually, it's grabbed us now. So if we try and move away, it's going to be like a little bit of a strength check to see if we can, but it's going to use up a turn to do it. So I think we're going to be much better off just trying to attack it, which we did. It lunges at us, but we dodge. Okay, come on. It's going to be almost dead now. It's severely injured. We dodged again. See that? Those two points of dodge. Okay, it's nearly dead, so we should be able to kill it on this turn. We still haven't taken any damage yet. None. <laughs> okay, enough bragging, because that's going to get us killed. Let's have a look and see what he has on him. Mm, yes. Sorry. <laughs> I get excited about boots and cargo pants, apparently. Right, so let's have a look. The boots are great, because they fit us. And that means that we aren't going to take any, well, extra encumberment. It is going to give us six encumberment, which is not that bad, all things considered. So we're going to take those, and we're going to wear those right away. I'm almost tempted to take the polo shirt as well, but it doesn't fit us, so we're not going to worry about that. But we are going to take, again, camera just freaking out for a second. We are going to take the cargo pants, because if we have a look at them, 
they have 10 storage because cargo pants, you know, they've got pockets absolutely everywhere. Now, they, it is going to make it a little bit harder for us to walk around. And it's going to slow us down a little bit because they don't fit us quite right. But we're going to make it work. So we're going to hit W or uppercase W to wear those. And now we're wearing both the boots and the cargo pants. Now we're going to jump into here really quickly and just make sure everything's lined up properly. Let's see. Yep, I'm fine with that. It probably would be worthwhile us taking these pants off now. They are giving us some warmth, which is fine. And it is actually giving us, actually it's actually giving us better cut and bash protection than the uh, cargo pants are. And that's the right order, so I'm very happy with that. Fantastic. Okay, so we're, we're a little bit better dressed than we were before. We're now going to smash this zombie corpse, which is going to tire us a little bit, but um, it's been thoroughly pulped. Now if we enter the room here, we've got a nice little bed, so if we do need to sleep in here, we can, and I'm actually stoked to see that there is a blanket and a pillow. <gasps> Ooh, and we've got a cell phone. The reason this is good is because it can tell us the time. Originally when I first saw a cell phone, I thought, brilliant, flashlight, but unfortunately it's not in the game, which is a little unfortunate. Really the only thing that we're able to use cell phones for in this is um, telling the time, or you can use it as an alarm clock, so it can be quite handy if you only want to sleep for a few hours, it'll allow you to do that. So now when we pick it up, we can actually see that it is 9.13 in the morning, so it's still quite early on in the day, and as we move about, you can see the uh, seconds ticking away. Okay. So these are lockers of a sort, and okay, uh, it's 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 all right. It's better than nothing. We've got some multivitamins, and the reason that these are going to be quite handy is because diets matter now. What you eat in Cataclysm now counts. So if you just live on a diet of meat, it's not going to be very good for you. You need to actually have a balanced diet. So um, our friend Elliot here can't survive on human meat alone. So we're going to take those multivitamins with us, and we're actually going to take the Xanax as well. So it's an anti-anxiety anti agent. Hmm. It's dangerously addictive. But we'll take it, because it might come in handy if we start to have visions of a sort. What we're going to do now is we're going to smash one of these lockers here, which is going to pretty much destroy it completely. That's going to give us a chunk of steel and a pipe. We're going to want both of those things. Okay, now, now we're dead. Where did he come from? <laughs> Where did he come from? Okay, so what must have happened is that door up there must have been broken in. And this son of a bitch has come in here because he heard us bash that open. You know what would be awesome? I'd love to see us be able to hide in lockers. That would be cool. Like, you know, real outlaw style. Give you the chance to actually hide, hide under a bed or hide in a locker. Now, what I'm going to try and do here is just try and juke this motherfucker. We are going to try and get around him to the best of our ability. Now, we are slightly slowed down, but I'm not going to let that deter us. Okay, good. So now what I'm hoping he's going to try and do is try and come across the bed. We can see the movement cost on the bed is 250. What I want him to do is get to the square here, and then I'm going to try and run around him. What I'm afraid he's going to do is just bash the shit out of the bed and break it. Which he might do. Seriously, if we get caught by him, we are dead. It's game over. That's how dangerous it is in here at the start. So we're running. We're going to wait a turn. So far, so good. Okay. Worst case scenario, happened. So now we're going to move up. Come on. Yes! Okay, so. Oh, okay. The doors are closed. So that could only mean that he came up the stairs. Which, in all of the tests I've done, they haven't been able to make it up the stairs. Oh, shit. <laughs> Now I'm really in trouble. Because if we go downstairs, yep, okay, okay, we might be dead. Because yeah, if we come downstairs, we've got these two zombie cops, and we also have a grabber zombie. A deformed human body. Once living, its arms dangle from its sides, like the limbs of some skinless ape, mindlessly groping at their surroundings. 
<laughs> We're low on stamina. I don't know where he came from. Where did that brute come from? So, our options here are dart into this room here, which we'll have good stuff in, but we don't know if there are any other dead there. Or, we can try and make a dash for it, and get up and out. If I go into here, I will be cornering myself. It takes a few turns to pick things up as well, so it's not like I can just run in, grab something, and then pick it up and use it. Hmm. This is, this is quite hard to decide what to do here. Because I'm pretty sure if I peek, that is going to use a turn. You can't just... We'll see. Okay. Shit. Yeah, peeking does use a turn. Okay. But, we could see that it is actually good down there. And um, we got hit. So, we blocked a little bit of the damage with our 2x4. We managed to kind of hold it up and stop the zombie cop. We're going to try and run now. Okay. Okay, so it's it's kind of good. I'm not seeing anything else in here right now. So we're going to quickly run over here and just see what we have. There's a riot helmet, which is good, and there's also a tonfer as well. The tonfer is going to be a better weapon than what we've got on right now. And what do we got down here? We actually have a Remington, but there's no ammunition for it, which is a bit shit. We're, I'm going to see if I can get that tonfer out in time. It is going to be quite difficult though, because throwing that 2x4 isn't much of an option. Yeah, we've only got a range of four, so we can't really do much with that. I'm going to see if I can drop the two by four and wield the Tomfa. Okay, that was good. That actually didn't take us too long to do. I will now want to take the Riot's helmet and wear it. Cool, again, that didn't take us too long to do. Now, not all of those would have seen me. You definitely saw me. Now, if we have a look, actually, he doesn't. <sighs> he doesn't see me. Okay, okay. We might be able to survive here. So it doesn't have a yellow exclamation mark right now, which means he doesn't see me. I actually want to try and get to that um, sheriff's shirt, because uh, it's going to have some storage for us, and it's actually going to be good for us as well. Okay, it is going to make us a little bit more encumbered though, so we have to just change things around a little bit. Actually, no, that's fine. That's fine, we're just wearing the striped shirt and the sheriff's shirt. That's sweet. It's not actually encumbering us at all. Our head is encumbered and our eyes are encumbered, which is going to lower our perceptions somewhat. So we can see here, we're getting minus two and checking for traps or firing ranged weapons um, and throwing weapons as well. Uh, it is actually affecting our mouth as well, which is gonna make us, well, uh, it's gonna make us more encumbered, which is a little shit. I might be able to take off the when I say encumbered, I mean to say uh, it's going to drain our stamina faster. We might be able to take off our bandana now and not have it be a problem. Yeah, you see that when I brought up the crafting menu, this is what we want to be doing right now. We want to be trying to make a makeshift crowbar, but we need light to be able to do it, which is a big problem. So I'm hoping that one of these guys either has a lighter or a flashlight on them. If they don't, we're fucked. <laughs> Light is so important when it, in this run, in this challenge. It's so, so important. Okay. Yes, I needed to see what our warmth would be. I think it'd be fine if we take off the bandana. Let's just take it off for a second. So our encumberment only goes up by one when we do that. It's not actually saving us that much, so... Well, it's not slowing us down so much, I should say. Although, in saying that, it's 23. It's not that much more than 20, really. We should be okay. And look, the, the zombie cop has actually gone away, which is amazing. Now, we can check out some of the rest of these here. Steel toe boots. So, obviously, that's going to give us better protection, but the encumberment on them is going to be a lot higher. If we hit, if we hit shift I in the direction of where the item is, we can actually compare them by selecting the two items. So we'll select the steel toe boots, and then we'll go down here and we'll select our pair of boots here. So we can actually see the difference between them. Obviously, 
the protection is a lot better. Actually, decent environmental protection as well. You know what? I think we might actually go for the, uh, yeah, the steel toe boots. Okay, in that case, we're going to drop on the ground our boots, and we'll pick up those ones there. Wear them. Great. So the cargo pants and stuff that are over here are actually in pretty good condition. Ours aren't in amazing condition right now, but they're, they're fine. We're actually going to try and find a, a pair that fits. The tear gas, we can't actually, we can't use. We need something to fire with it. Unfortunately, we don't have any. Damn it. I was hoping for some kind of armor. All right, we're going to stop running now because we don't need to be. And um, I'm just going to come over here and see if I can inspect these because there might be some things hidden in the rubble. Unfortunately, there isn't. So we've got these two smashed down doors here, which leads me to believe that um, probably the grabber zombie was in one of them. Or actually, it could have been the two zombie cops. There could be something in here, which does worry me. Because if I smash, they're all going to come running. So this, we're going to have another quick peek to see what's going on. Okay. So if we hit, if we hit V, or Shift V rather, we can see that they, none of them see us right yet. So that's good. We need to work with that. What we want is for just one of them to see us. Ideally, I don't want to fight the, the uh, grabber at all. Okay, I think I might be able to do enough to just kind of lure him to me. He's actually having a really hard time seeing me. Okay, that's good. So now I am actually just going to run a little bit. Just to try and get some space between us. Okay. Now I'm going to let him come to me. Okay, we got a really good whack with the tonfa. The tonfa is actually a pretty good weapon. So we're doing quick strikes there. It didn't do too much damage. That's okay. We're a little cornered now, so we might just have to stand and fight. Okay, we managed to block. It's good. Oh, shit. Okay, we got bitten, but not badly, which is good. How are we doing here? Heavily injured. Okay, maybe a few more hits. Luckily, these quick strikes here, these quick strikes happen really fast, so we can actually do a number of attacks in one turn. And we're doing a pretty good job at dodging as well. And we just killed us a zombie cop. We are quite puffed though. What have we got? It was a female cop. She didn't have too much for us. We're going to take the cash card though, because if we do get outside, it is going to help us out a decent amount. But uh, yeah, unfortunately, not too much for us there. We are going to smash her, however. However. Sounded absolutely drunk then. Okay, and now we're just going to wait. We're going to wait, and we're going to allow our stamina to start to build. Now, we are in pain. Not a hell of a lot of pain, but it's enough pain that our intelligence is affected. Once you're in pain, it becomes harder to kind of concentrate on things and do complex actions, which, you know, makes sense. We're just going to wait. We're going to allow that stamina to build right back up. Okay, good. We're doing okay. We got hit a few times. I could have maybe used the battle space here a little bit better. Okay, that grabber zombie really does concern me. I don't know if we're in the kind of position where we can fight it yet, but we might not have any other choice, unfortunately. In saying that, if we just be patient, we might be able to kind of try and wait. Oh, no. Oh, no, he's coming for us. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, it, it's... This worries me. It really does. I'm going to move up kind of meet him, give him a good whack, or two, and then I'm going to move. Okay, Oku, okay. he grabbed us, which that's what grabbers do. We blocked some of the damage, but he tried to he tried to bite our torso. He didn't get through the armor though, which is good. We are now in a position where we're grabbed by this grabber, so we can't really go anywhere, so... We managed to actually get a decent hit on him then. I'm really worried that that zombie cop is going to see us. We managed to do a decent amount of damage so far. Okay, the zombie cop went away. That's good. We're doing a pretty good job at actually blocking damage right now, which I'm really happy about. He's heavily injured. And luckily, the armor that we have is actually protecting us at the moment. 
The armor being just a few layers of clothing, but it can make a difference. And yes, we just killed this grabber zombie. A wolf's. <laughs> so, this grabber zombie that was coming after us was wearing a full body fursuit in the form of an anthropomorphic wolf. God, that was difficult. <clears throat> it's quite encumbering and has little storage, but it is very warm. So what's good about the wolf suit, and what I've, what I've actually used in my own kind of personal playthroughs in the past, is I've, I've kind of used it as a sleeping bag. It can be quite handy. Um, other than that, there isn't a hell of a lot else. The cargo shorts are good, though, and I'm tempted to pick those up and wear them as well. So we're going to wear those cargo shorts on top of our cargo pants. So if we just have a look now, go down to our legs. We should be getting quite encumbered on our legs. Yeah, we're on 23 at the moment, which is, yeah, not the best. But uh, yeah, all that protection is going to kind of like add up as well. Yeah, the wolf suit. Yeah, see, look, the volume is 48. And uh, what's the encumberment? Like 30, yeah. But um, the warmth is 50. So it's it's really good. If you don't have anything else to sleep in, just keep that nearby. Snuggle up in your wolf suit at night and you'll be fine. <laughs> um, Elliot might have to do that if he can't get back to that, uh, that blanket. Now, we've just got the zombie cop up there. I'm just going to kind of take a step down and try and... Okay, he's approaching, so we'll stop smashing. Oh, whoops. I actually meant to stop smashing, but I didn't. But it's okay, because the zombie cop just didn't care. That's actually really good. So we're just going to, again, wait for time to pass a little bit. Now our stamina to come back. Our pain is slowly starting to go away, which is good. Because luckily, that grab up a zombie didn't do any damage to us at all, which is kind of a miracle. Okay, so let's see. He, he doesn't see us yet. So it's nice to know that we can get like a few steps towards them before they actually see us. Now he sees us. Okay. Okay, we got a we got a strike. Okay, he, he Oh sh shit. The zombie brute came downstairs. He would have heard the smacking. Ah oh, shit. We need to try and run. I know he's grabbed onto us, but okay, we break out of the grab. We just need to try and juke him again. It's not gonna be easy. We need to wait for him to come down one more tile. Oh shit, he's trying to corner me. And he's doing a freaking good job. Oh, we got around and we juked him. But there is a zombie cop there. And I don't think we're going to be able to get around him. Okay, we might be able to. We just need to try and... Yes! Okay. Good. <sighs> we have been so extraordinarily lucky. I'm going to wait here. I'm going to try and get a few sneaky smacks at him. Because yes, I know that the uh, zombie brute is coming. Yeah, that zombie brute came down the stairs. Honestly, it must have been a recent update that fixed that. Because it was only yesterday that I was playing. And they never came up and down the stairs. Okay. He grabbed us. We tried to break. Okay. We killed him. We killed him. That's good. Okay. We have got a lot more going on here. First of all, we're going to grab the cash cart. The sunglasses. We. It's a Remington shotgun. And it actually has ammunition in it. Usually I've found just um, the kind of riot pellets. Just like little plastic shells. I've never found one that actually has bullets in it. So again freaking awesome find so i'm probably going to want to take the cash card we'll take the we'll take the sunglasses for now they're designed to be worn over a pair of corrective glasses though so does that mean we need to have the other glasses no we're going to leave them for now i'm not too fussed about that but yeah we're we're going to take that cash card we're now going to hit shift u and we're going to unload this um, two-way radio that we have. There we go. Great. Two-way radio unloaded. So what that does is that gives us... No, oh, actually, I accidentally hit caps locks. Um, so if you have a look here, we actually have 100 batteries with us. So we do, if we do find something that has the ability to cast lights and needs batteries, we have batteries for it. Which I'm very, very happy about. Now the Tonfa, I don't know if we're going to be able to put away yet. What I'm going to do is I'm going to rename it. So I'm going to give it the letter T. T for Tonfa. Makes sense. 
It was Tifa Tanto back in the other series. And we're going to come in here. We're going to see if we can... I'm going to try and store this in our inventory. Okay, we can just fit the Tomfa in our pants. And that's going to allow us to be able to carry the Remington. Ho 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 ho. So we've only got six shots, so we'd have to use them very, very carefully. But that's the kind of thing that we might want to use against um, that zombie brute, because he is right in our way. Hmm. Okay, how much does that take up? Volume's only eight. So I don't think we'd be able to store that with all this other stuff. The chunk of steel in the pipe, though, we're not going to need those forever. Let's just, let's just have a look around here, see if we do have any, uh... Okay, so we've still got a few more zombie brutes around here, though, from memory. Okay, that's just, a, there's two regular zombies, okay, that's not great. We need to drop the shotgun. Okay, right, we dropped it, we're going to move back. We're going to try and move around here and then bring the Tanto out. See, because it took a little while for us to get it out there. He's actually grabbed us. I think we should be able to get away. Okay, and we're going to move back down here. Shoot, he bit our left arm. We're just going to have to try and tank it. Okay, we've got a spray can, but we didn't get much else from him, unfortunately. Yeah, just pure socks, pants, sweatshirt. Not great. We're going to wait here. I think this guy is interested in us. Okay. He's going to be very slow on that table. So I'm going to get a good few quick strikes. We might be able to just straight up kill him. There we go. Oh, actually he had ammunition. I will take it. It's good. If we can find someone that uses it. 50 rounds, in fact. She, sorry. She, because, yeah. Or as a cross-dressing man. One of the two. Okay, so we are going to smash these corpses now that we're here. Um, I don't want to use the Tonto to do that, though, so... We'll probably just drop the Tonto... T tonto? The Tomfa. Have, we, have I been saying Tonto the entire time? <laughs> it's a Tonfa. Why am I calling it Tonto? Because it's the Tanto, that's why. Uh. Okay, so we're going to wield the chunk of steel, and we're going to use that to... blash the crap out of them. Yeah, that really... <laughs> That really did the job, actually. So we'll take the Tomfa back. Uh, we wield, wield the Tomfa. We will just store the other item in our inventory. And you know what? I think this is where we're going to end today's episode. It's actually run a little longer than I was hoping to. I'm trying to keep these to 20 minutes. Just they're a little bit more snappy. A little bit easier to digest. And, uh, well, we've survived another episode, and we're doing better than I thought we would. Um, we've had some very, very, very close calls, and for anyone that is actually doing the prison scenario, hopefully this helps, because uh, it's not an easy scenario to do at all. <laughs> Alrighty, leave a like if you're enjoying the series. I've been Rykon, you have all been awesome, and until next time, stay tuned.